Hello everybody, it's Agnes. I'm going to read you a success story today by Owen. Owen says, I am a student who is currently learning to drive and before I can do the practical test, I have to do a theory test. Revision and tests are two things I hate doing, but it needed to be done. I left the revision to the last minute and failed the first time I did my theory test. The second time I did it, I thought it would be the one. I was meditating and visualizing passing it and the day of the test, I did a meditation to calm my mind and make me confident. I was also saying affirmations like, I am confident, I am calm, I am so happy that I've passed my theory test. I was using the app on my phone to do mock tests on the way to the test center. I took the bus to get to the test centre and halfway there I realised I hadn't got my licence on me which you need before they let you do the test. So now I was panicking and worrying. Long story short, my mum brought me my licence and I got to do the test on time. However, I failed it because I was stressed from forgetting to bring it with me. <laughs> I left it for a while before I booked the test again. I took time revising and believing that I could pass it. My mum booked it without letting me know and I only had a week to prepare. I started using the water method for manifesting. Every night and every morning I would make a glass of water and meditate with my hands around the glass, visualizing and affirming that I had already passed the test. I would then drink the water and after drinking it I would believe that my desire is done. I let go. In my mind I have already passed it. The day of the test I kept my mind calm and fully believe that I have already passed it. I am just going to collect my results. I also believe in the saying third time lucky. I got to the centre and I walked and just believed that this would be the last time I was going to come here. I kept smiling to myself to keep my energy positive and I was constantly affirming to myself that I have already passed the test. I go into the room to take the test, the nerves start to kick in. During the test I kept having negative thoughts but I, every time a negative thought came in I would cancel it by thinking I've already passed the test, I've already passed the test. And I would keep smiling to myself and just know that this was the last time I would be here. I even sang and danced about it in my seat. I didn't sing out loud, but in my head. I was keeping myself positive by singing to myself, I've passed it, I've passed it, I've passed it. I kept affirming that to myself. I also tried to imagine what I would be like when I passed it. And I thought I would scream. So in my mind, I imagined myself screaming with happiness and created that feeling inside me. Anyway, I finished the test and I walked out smiling. I went to the desk and took my results. I took a deep breath and opened the letter. I passed. I was in shock. I went up to the desk and after this, this was correct and the lady said that I had passed. She was very happy for me too. It was just an immense feeling of gratitude and happiness. I left the building dancing and screaming. <laughs> Thank you, Agnes, for your videos because they've helped me a lot. I always thought it was about the technique, but it's not. It's about the feeling and the end result. Wise words, Owen. I'm going to read it again. I always thought it was about the technique, but it's not. It's about the feeling and the end result. Wow. Love that, Owen. And... Ultimately, that's what I focused on, the end result. The water technique was a great way to help me, but deep down I know it was the feeling and the visualization of the belief that helped. The techniques are there to help you build on your belief. Whatever works for others is fine, yes. As long as you're believing and feeling, then you are manifesting. Beautiful. Thank you, Owen. Lots of love. And I know many of you have emailed me about the water test and asking me to do something about it. I personally, I'm not into external things for me. It's not a technique. I would rather work on consciously creating within. So I'm really glad you made that distinction, Owen, that it's not the technique. It is actually, as you said in your own words here, the feeling and the end result. So you know, you can get to a point where you bypass the techniques altogether and you just hop straight to the feeling and the end result. But you know what? You go through stages and it's like stepping stones. You know, it's like when you need reassurance, people go to astrology and tarot and numerology and, you know, 
looking for outside reassurance and that is stages of development and learning I believe because you know I went through that too so wherever you're at is wherever you're at and that's fine and then you get more confident and you get your take your training wheels off and you start pedaling on your own so fabulous thank you so much Owen lots of love and loved your story <laughs>